Okay, today is October 16th, Wednesday, and I am back uh, to go upstairs to medical records to get the um, medical records that I was supposed to have received under the uh, immediate disclosure request that I sunshined the Department of Public Health, which, if you continue to watch the videos, you'll see how that's set to fail, how sunshine will not enforce an immediate disclosure request. Anyway, in the interim, I just wanted to let you know, I received an email last week from Karen O'Donnell in regard to getting my medical records. And uh, when I called her, you know, she couldn't answer any questions, so I'm coming down to get the questions answered because one of the things that was incorrect in the email was the charge that she was trying to charge me. Uh, I believe it was 25 cents per page when Sunshine you know, it says it can only be up to 10 cents a page. Um, unfortunately, I think if there's anything that we've learned is that laws don't have to be followed. Also, the, the interesting thing is that Karen uh, was emailed, I believe the email to which she responded to me that day was sent to her by Philip uh, the same day, I believe around 9.30 in the morning to which she responded to me at three in the afternoon sometime and I responded back. The interesting reason that I bring this up is because I was told by Philip last time I was here and if you look at the video that it would take 10 days for a doctor to review all these things and go forward. The interesting part is I'm not sure if that's what happened because I don't see any doctor's notes and uh, the fact that the same day that he emailed her she emailed me back which was about you know, many days later. Um, this brings up many questions as far as the immediate disclosure request, uh, a rolling basis for the information, and whether or not I've been played simply by what's been going on. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about this? Uh, so I'm here to follow up. Uh, the interesting thing is that apparently Philip had to send an email to his subordinate for, you know, finding out when I could get the records released and what the cost would be, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, here I am to follow up. I, of course, never got a receipt of acknowledgement on my emails from Philip following up. Uh, the interesting part was that Karen really didn't understand Sunshine, et cetera, et cetera. So you must understand that Philip's position as HIS manager, with, which is Health Information Systems Manager, means that these people should have been trained properly in Sunshine. The question is, were they? So we're following up to see what other stuff we get and go from there. Hello. Hello. Is no problem. So like I said, there's many interesting questions. Hopefully we can get them answered this time without being threatened to have security called on us. If there's a problem, we can always, like I said, step into the public area. I do believe this is the public area because there's patients' rights, notice to consumers, chairs, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, if there's one thing we've learned from the videos, it's all spun. And this is interesting. Medical record fees, 25 cents. Uh, I need to speak to either Karen O'Donnell or Philip. Okay. Cat's burger, please. So, how much longer? How many more games till I get what's you know I'm entitled to under a public record dis request for immediate disclosure? Hello, you are. Are you videotaping? Me? Yes. I do not consent to you videotaping. So then, can you send somebody out who can help me in this public area for my services? This is the ploy. They do not consent, then they need to send out a drone. They cannot violate my rights. You've seen this ploy be used at every city agency. This. The reason they don't want the videotaping is because then it becomes a case of he said, she said, as opposed to having the videos to prove conclusively what I've said all along. This is the game. This is the rigged methodology. This is the failure of humanity. 
Now, another thing I need for you to understand also is that when the immediate disclosure was not filled, I went ahead and wrote to the Sunshine Task Force for a hearing regarding the IDR. I've sent, I believe, one or two follow-ups and still have not received anything back. Once again, I will show you how the Sunshine Task Force is simply the shield for the city, you know, as opposed to, you know, fulfilling what is required under Sunshine also. I will show you the game plan that happens at Sunshine as we continue through this. Now, mind you, I've had other issues before in front of Sunshine with medical records, one each and every time. Available, right? I do not consent to you videotaping. Then send somebody out who can. Send a drone, send a robot, whatever. Please, I will not accept your Hobbesian's choice. This I is a public am, I building. I am trying to tell you. And I am trying to tell you it's unacceptable. I do not consent to you Fine, then send out a drone or send out somebody who can help me. Thank you. I will not accept your Hobbesian's okay, choice. So you will wait. Pardon me? You will wait. How long will I wait? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. That Philip you... is not available at this moment. I looked all over the department. He's not around. He must have stepped out either to go to a meeting or something. I do not know what time he's coming back. Well, isn't that wonderful? I've made a trip down here specifically to pick up my medical records under an IDR oh, and so Sunshine. Wait, 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 wait. Which you are here to pick up records. You must fill out one of these first. I you must. Is that the law? I'm not consenting and then I'm not consenting to you giving me a form that's not legal. I've already expressed to you what the law stated. You have not responded. So right now it's uh, yeah. 5 to 11. Oh. Now, mind you, I did write Karen O'Donnell, you know, the fact that she was incorrect when it came to a HIPAA form being required to be signed. I sent her the section card. I believe it's 45 CFR uh, 164.524. Requested medical records, one's own medical records. I, you know, sent you the law, which, you know, I explained to Philip in the prior time that I was here that I was correct. Um, and once again, this is the game. Incorrect law interpretation, not following what the law requires. And if you don't like it, well, we'll just call security. Now, mind you, this is in medicine. This is where there is supposed to be humanity. No game playing. I believe the medical oath is to do no harm, and the second tier of that is to protect from injustice. It might want to. You might want to ask, how are they doing anything like that for me, specifically? You know, this uh, medical records request for the false fifty-one fifty that happened to me, you know, was an immediate disclosure request. It is still being delayed. Uh, it has not been met timely. Uh, I have informed the Sunshine Task Force that I want a hearing, which, of course, they have not responded, nor even acknowledged receipt of my request, which I did via email. Uh, please continue to watch. Please continue to learn the rig methodology here. Now, as I was saying before, here they have medical records fee, 25 cents per page. And, you know, when I wrote Karen back, I sent her the sunshine regulations, which meant it couldn't be over 10 cents a page, and I still have not had a response. The exact same thing when I, you know, wrote Philip and asked for an acknowledgement of my, you know, my email, a receipt of acknowledgement, never received that. Now, mind you. This is the director of health information systems, which is supposed to be there to not only protect one's medical rights, but to make sure that the law is enforced. And, you know, if he does not know HIPAA law correctly, it begs the strange question as to how he can be director of health information systems. If he doesn't understand sunshine, it begs the same question. You know, we, we, we speak of professionalism, we speak of pride in what we do and everything else. You know, these are the questions that I'm raising. Uh, once again, as I've said before, you know, being correct 
in a rigged society does no one any good. So I'll go ahead and give it more time, you know, and I will show you that this game will continue because there is no accountability in the medical profession, just like there was no accountability when I was being denied health care by the Department of Public Health and the sheriff and the S. San Francisco Police Department couldn't enforce my medical rights and the law. You know, I, I hope that you're beginning to learn the game. Now, the question is, you know, if no one enforces the law, what is to stop the people from repeatedly breaking the law, abusing the law, or going through everything that I have gone through? You know, here is the game, folks. Please learn it. So, nobody's apparently being responsible to me as far as telling me how much longer it's going to be or anything. I will ask one more time. If they're not sure, then I'll go home and I'll come back some other day. And I, of course, will continue to follow up on my email documented verification so that we have the documentation to continue to prove that, A, they never respond, B, the responses aren't even correct, you know, when you try to hold them, their feet to the legal fire, you know, it must be nice to be able to not have to tell the whole truth and be accountable for it, you know, per the law. So, you know, these are the questions that are raised. It is not I, like I've said, that is the failure. I have continually, repeatedly, in every fashion, pointed out the failures. You know, as I've said, the flow charting, you know, to oblivion, you know, the dead end leads, the we really care, you know, we're going to call the police on you, we don't want the evidence. I mean, just every which way but loose, you know, in this very inhumane society. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me how much longer it's going to be? Now, mind you, last time I was here and I signed this release for medical records, you know, and I gave them my ID. I fulfilled all the requirements needed. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, instead of dealing with the law, they're continuing to do this with me. Uh, excuse me, can anybody tell me how much longer it's going to be that before I receive I'm not any help? Sure. If you don't mind having a seat. Well, I've actually been waiting, and I haven't been able to get a response. Can you find out and let me know? Because if it's going to be a while, I'll just come back. Pardon me? You have a response. Is that security? Yes. Oh, I thank you for telling me. I will leave, and I will post this on YouTube to show just the helpfulness that a person receives while following up on his rights. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'll be back. See you on YouTube, folks. This is the hospital. This is the care. They have called security. Isn't life beautiful? Once again, failure. Where are my medical rights being observed? Where are my HIPAA rights being observed? Where are any of my rights being observed? Learn the game. Learn the inhumanity. And above all else, learn the law. Anyway, I will continue. Thanks, guys. You will continue to see the inhumanity rampant. We are calling security as opposed to answering your questions. You know, sorry, thank you. Anyway, so I hate to be the person that does this. Truly I do because when I came to this world, I was fooled into thinking that there was a cannibal humanity, you know, morality, ethics. And all that I have shown you is that that's a pipe dream. Thank you.